Give my hopes up every time And I don't wanna be Be let down neutral to find I just wish I'd seen The price tag for my heart breaking Was it worth all that waiting When I always knew just how I felt Yeah, I'm looking back at the past And I feel regret I wanna walk on the block seal Hello guys, I'm going to take you around Mtuapa and I've just begun here from the Mtuapa bridge. This bridge marks the boundary between Shanzu and Mtuapa. Now let's explore Mtuapa. I don't know much about Mtuapa but I've been to several historical sites and several touristic sites so let's go. Now the Mtuapa I've visited is usually along this one, Malindi. it's called Mombasa Malindi Highway. This is just where most people have explored. I've gone in like to the other routes, maybe once or twice, going to Jumba La Mtuana, La Marina to do a yacht ride. Oh, I'm told it's called a yacht. Yeah, but I'll still take you through this route to the end before I get to the other routes that go further, further to the deepest sides of Mtuapa. There are so many clubs along this route so many clubs actually during the day you if whatever you see right now is quite dull and it, it's because it's during the day at night this place is more lively very lively for that matter if you want to go to nairobi or malindi use these buses now you'll realize there are so many stalls along this mtuapa road in fact you can literally get everything the used clothes called mtumbas vegetable as you can see their means of transport these are tuk-tuks they're called tuk-tuks they are the easiest way to, to go around Mtuapa and Mombasa in general initially when I was still a student some years back every time we would be our schools would take us to a trip to, to Mombasa we would come and stay somewhere in Mtuapa I have not really figured out where that place was this is the famous Lambada resort along this road there so many clubs. I'm telling you when you pass by at night, you'll be surprised. You'll be really surprised. But it's just most of those clubs are just within Mtuapa. But when you go further, there isn't much. Now this is Mtuapa Mall. There are a couple, there is a quick match supermarket and a couple of ATM banks. I think that is an upcoming mall or something. But I can't wait to see how it will look once it is, once it is finished. Along this road, you'll get a lot of jam because of, of, of the fact that it is quite congested. There are so many shops along this road, especially at the Mtuapa Center. And then here is the famous Danka. It is right next to a it is right next to a petrol station called Danka, and there is the club. That is Danka Club. As you can see, there's plenty of business around here. There are so many buildings, so many businesses. Actually, there are so many factories around here. Mtuapa is where there are plenty of epizets. There are couple, actually, there are several epizets around here and factories. In Mombasa, it, uh, uh, other than, not in Mombasa, Mtuapa is not in Mombasa. Mtuapa by the way, it is in Kilifi County. For those who thought that Mtuapa is in Mombasa, Mtuapa is in Kilifi County and there are so many EPZs. EPZs are export processing zones. They are usually like manufacturing companies and uh, they are usually considered as foreign, foreign countries. Yes, there is that program and there are other just factories like Umoja, there is this factory that makes Indomie. There are quite a number as you go further towards Kilifi. This is a garment EPZ. Those designer companies, maybe like Gucci, Topshop, and all that, they usually just bring their materials here and then it gets those expensive designer clothes. They are usually made here by the labor is usually gotten from Kenya. So don't underestimate yourself. You'll just find that all those people who do the labor there 
who actually do the sewing are Kenyans. Mombasa Apparel EZ. There are quite a number in this direction. So I'll just get closer to some of them and then and then we'll go back so that I can show the new market in Mutuapa. I've always wanted to go to that market but every time I pass by there it's quite late. So maybe today I'll get a chance to show you the new market in Mutuapa. So many people have bought a lot of land here, both the locals and people from other counties. And as you can see, others have used it to make like residential homes, others factories, and others they're just like very nice estates around here. It's really nice estates. This one is Mtuapa Gardens. land i think it's community land but you can buy it from the community usually if you see the advertisement for land in Twapa, you can get some and then you make a fancy a fancy estate like that one Twapa gardens most of us usually know the Twapa center the crowded place and all that but just imagine they are very nice um, there are very nice estates down here there's plenty of land that you can just buy and come up with something very nice some residential house or something and these are just investment opportunities nice guys just check out this estate it's just in the middle of nowhere and the way it is pretty if you have some mula come and buy some land here and do some construction you have seen how these guys have taken advantage of this and it's actually very close to the beach yeah it's very close to the beach so it is a very nice investment idea now we've gotten to the end of this road and i'm told there's nothing beyond here so let's go back and see the other sides of mtuapa i told you that there is a new market in mtuapa and i have to go get something out there i have to buy something there Let's go and check it out. Now, welcome to Mtuapa Market. Guys, we are about to get into this market. It is on a Sunday, so, and there, there, there isn't much people. So don't expect much, uh, much activities. But one thing that is so striking, they have a very nice parking space for everyone. Matatus, buses, taxis, tuk-tuks, even motorbikes, they all have space for parking. So this is very nice. So this ginger is a quarter kg, only 35 shillings, and each of these is 15 shillings, 15, 15, 15 Kenyan shillings. So it's usually cheaper buying most vegetable in the market as compared to going to some more fancy stores. Most of the vendors have closed because it is a Sunday and it is, it is a resting day. So there isn't much in this building. From what you have seen and what I have seen, I can conclude that this building is quite similar to the Kongoya new building, the new building in Kongoya market. I have made a video on that. It is more or less the same. It's only that this time there are very few people. It's not as active as we want a normal market to be. But let's keep exploring. That's it for the market. Let's go elsewhere. Now, right outside the market, there is this garden. Where you can come and rest have a date i've seen a couple of people on a date just seated out there their benches and very nice cool breeze under the trees now you can see how crowded Mtuapa is it is at least the sun is going down it is less hot and people have come out to now do business others to have fun and all that you can see now more people are coming in because the heat is now gone. 
everything you need is in top it is a complete town with everything you need road it has been labeled Moza road let's see what's, what happens down here Go travelers hotel looks like a very fancy hotel from at least from outside it's beautiful <laughs> i can't tell what happens inside but from outside it's quite pretty now i can start seeing the residential sites where all those people who are in the center come from shops here and there if you're in Tuapa or if you know these places in Tuapa, please tell me the name of these streets. I don't know the name of the streets, but I'm just driving through so that I can show anyone who has never been to Mtuapa how it looks like. By the way, guys, as compared to Mombasa, Mtuapa is quite cheap as far as renting of spaces is concerned. Their houses are cheaper than those in Mombasa. Very nice buildings coming up. All these people are so many in Mutuapa. They are very nice residential spaces, nice flats. If you are seeing this for the first time, comment below and hit that like button because at least you get to see something you've never seen before. Wow, very nice buildings. guys initially like i said initially mtuapa used to be known to be the place where people come to club come to party you can see all those people they're just eating street food eh? that is what mtuapa used to be until maybe i think there was a time there was some demolitions along the road but i can see that it's picking up Are just seated outside eating street foods now we are going back to the main road ah, I'm glad you guys have seen all this and I'm glad I've seen it too for the first time we are approaching moorings, the famous moorings, the floating bar. I think I should show you moorings today. I've been here a couple of times, but I've never shown you guys. Today being a weekend, I expect plenty of people here. It is a very common place, a very popular place for that matter.
shiny light you see there for clubs. Dropper used to be where you go for parties. Clearly, Bamburi has taken over. But if you go to Bamburi right now, my friends, <laughs> guys, that has been Twapa. I really love the ambience at Moon. 